So there's this interesting thing that happens to me on occasion. I hear a still small voice that tells me something's about to happen, like a little prophecy. And there was one unnerving voice that I heard a little while back that said, all of your money is gone, but that's okay. And I was really hoping I heard it wrong, but sure enough, the next morning, we checked our bank account and we were entirely cleaned out. There was this huge elaborate identity theft scheme that took everything. And I actually had the contact info of one of the people that was helping me with the investigation. And I told them that they still had the choice to do the right thing, but also that I forgave them for what they did. And it was interesting. I actually got a response back that misquoted the Bible, which is, I'm sure never happened, uh, but also asked this question. Well, if I just believe that I'm forgiven, aren't I just forgiven? <laughs> I responded back, no. Um, if you truly want to be forgiven, you have to realize you did something wrong, and that's what repentance is. Repentance is simply moving back toward the good. So the beautiful, terrible thing about free will is we have the choice to do good or to do bad to each other. Uh, when we do good, great. When we do bad, forgiveness and repentance are the things that have to happen. Now, this happens on a person-to-person -person basis, but there's also a transcendent thing that I think we all understand at our core, if we're honest, that needs to happen with this forgiveness piece. So the question is, do you need to forgive? And do you need forgiveness? And how do you get it?
came sounding ground. That's how Jesus saved my soul. 